Good evening, everyone. It's me, your pal, Doc Ravenby. We're back at it again. Not at the Krispy Kreme, but the room two. And it looks like I'm on a boat. <laughs> so let's see what we can do here. All right. This is a weird little boat. So if you don't, if you don't remember from last time, we had found ourselves in the Legends of the Hidden Temple, won a shooting gallery prize that led us not to the Shrine of the Silver Monkey, but a seance room. Catch up with an old guy, an old dead man, gave us a way in there, and through the magical god supper, we now apparently ended up on this boat. So let's take a look and see if there's anything we can do here. Okay. Looks like that needs something. Oh, oh, what's this? Ah! There's a Kraken! There's a Kraken! We got squids! Oh, we got squids. Okay. Okay, let's calm down. So this wooden crank, I'm assuming, goes there. Yep. And let's go a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the dock. Come on. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, none is on. Ooh! Wow! Wow! What? It, wow, we're pretty. We flew ourselves pretty far. In we go! Oh! That was a very short solving of puzzles. Even short journeys can cover great distance, and by making it to the other side of the crossing, you are now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. The Tarot of Isolation. Let's see where we're going to next. Why, it's a room. Two. Whoa. There's some sciencey stuff going on in this room. So let's see what we got here. That looks like it's missing stuff. That looks like a, ba a viewfinder. Some mag. Ooh. What? One, two, one? So, we're looking at something there. Wait, can we go down low? No. What about over here? God, I feel like we're going to be seeing Dr. Weird here soon. Okay, that needs power. That looks like we may need a screwdriver for that. Yeah, that's not moving just yet. Okay, that's not working. Anything there? Anything there? That may be our final way out of here. All right. Well, that door is electrocuted. Oh. You are what I saw. And, oh, wait. Let's go get this real quick. Nope. And you. Nope. nope. So remember, we have a red eye, but I can't do anything with that book. There's a book here I can't click on. 
There's some more sciencey stuff. There's a gobstopper in that debt. Oh, foo, foo, foo. That's not gobstoppers. That's guts. That Death Star has guts in it. Yeah, that's not gonna work just yet. Oh! Experiment 1.27. Subject Alpha 17. Lamprina Orata. Subject unresponsive to the post-mortem app of serum number 04. Combined with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100 milliamps. Corpus degradation considerable with high amperes. Conclude coleoptera unsuitable for further study. Some sort of beetle. The doctor! Okay. Well, I think... Ooh, what's over here? No? Can't go over there? Okay. All right, let's see if there's any yes notes. No, there's a padlock. That looks like we're gonna need something. Well, let's not look for that. Yeah, that's a beetle. What was that? It looks like some nuka vinegar. Okay, so we gotta put something into there. Nothing with red vision. with there. Looks like we're going to charge a battery. Huh. Can't go over there. Let's see with our special eyes to say about this stuff. Well, it says we need some stuff for this. That's what it says. Yeah, we need a film reel for that. Do this first. Ferro fluids. Squiggly. At the room? I tried clicking it, huh? It wouldn't let me. Huh. 
This is kind of... Hmm... Oh. Oh! A screwdriver! Experiment 2.07. Subject Beta 4. Rattus, Rattus. Subject necrosis significantly halted by pre mortem application of serum number 5. Temporary musculature reflex restoration witnessed with post mortem electrostimulation of range 75 to 85 milliamps. What are you? There's a plaque missing. Okay. Well, I have a screwdriver. That is not what we're looking for. Okay. That would be the purpose of a screwdriver. I guess not. Workbench look at Oh right. That's a power thing. Oh, one of these. Maybe there. Oh. A wooden box. Oh! Oh, ooh, ooh, I know how to solve this one. I know how to solve this one. I know how to solve this one, folks. So, remember the, uh, yes, this. So, squeaky line is two. And now what we need is you, not you, not you. What is that? It's the S. Yeah. Seven. That's right, right? Oh, that's two five seven. Yeah, that's right. Three. I'm a dummy. It's not two. It's one. A battery. Well, I don't think this battery has any charge. Yeah. Looks to be completely uncharged. Maybe what I need to do is charge it up. Full charge. Anything there? Okay, so this is the battery charging station. Now, where do we know it needs a battery? This needs a battery. So let's go.
We've got lasers. Oh, oh. We're playing the old game of laser reflect corrections. We need to get it to here. Unless there's a mirror there. Hold on. I think I know what we're going to do, so. <laughs> oh. Star-shaped handle. So, we have a star-shaped handle. We've got mirror reflections going on here. Obviously, what we need to do is somehow eventually get it to here. Maybe there'll be uh, something we can pull around that'll do that. But, we need to use this. A star-shaped handle. Handle. Which matches this thing right here. So, wait. Two. Oh. A drum of images. And wait, wait, wait. Kirkton, Kirkton Sanatorium. Infirmary and municipal dispensary for consumptives. 22 Alfred Mount Aberdeen, Scotland. Dear Professor de Mo Monte Falcon. Mount Falcon. Well, I don't doubt your altruistic motives. Your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to, to your estate. I beg of you to see you. Madame Lucy, return to the sanatorium as early as you can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Beckett. Let's go back to one. Because there was a thing over there. Aha! You can't fool me. Ooh. Bugs. Experiment 5.01. Subject <coughs> EH. Upper right appendage severed at glenohumeral joint. Necrosis in subject halted completely via pre-mort application of serum number 5, followed by post-mort application of zero, serum number 4. Perfect musculature reflex witnessed with electrostimulus at 77 and 3 quarters milliamps. That beetle is a lens. What? There's a bug missing. The label's correct. It should be a stag beetle. Yeah, there are specimens missing. Let's see if there's anything else going on here. Well, let us proceed to the film. So we've got a film canister here. Ah, we're going to need a battery. How do we get another battery is the question. How do we get another battery? Wait, 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 wait.
No. That don't work. Okay, is there any way to get another battery? I feel like I would need another battery. So... See what's in number two again. I'll be back to you in a second, sweetheart. Let's see here. Pull that out. Oh! Wait, was it hard to see that? Yeah, it's a sanitarium letter. Is there anything else? No. Can't do that anymore. We're missing a plaque. Keywork. Can't move it right now. It's locked. Is there anything else we can get here? No? The brain thing is not working. That's full of power. I feel like if I need to move that, what's my mystical hint going to tell me? What? Top right. Wow. A large handle. See, I didn't know. Again, this is me being a dum dum. Be attested by many a Moai. But, uh, just because I'm a dum dum. Yep. Obviously, not the direction we're going to. Here. Well, I think we need to go here. Sorry, right, I gotta get this thing rolling just.
Boom. Beam. So, oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, okay. So we're basically doing a game of laser here. Charging that up. There we go. There we go. Medicinal tonics. Experiment 13. Subject L. Cardiac viscous. The course is halted indefinitely. Manual operation at 77 and 3 quarter milliamps. Facsimile of life restored only with proximity to Ra Null. No further avenues. No way back. Dear Louis. Lucy. Harga, forgive me. I was too late. Trying to get someone back. Well, a large right. Now there's some missing specimens, but ah. So we need. We're gonna find more beetles. So, back to the battery charger. Alright. Let there be lightning. Fool the lava! Ah! Oh. Damn it. Fuse is busted. I'm wondering if this is going to happen. I have a fuse, I'll discard it. Now I need a new fuse. Where are we going to find that? Where am I going to find that? That don't work no more. Maybe down here? Broken plaque. This is spicy. Jin geesh. Ah, uh, it's 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 gibberish. There's a little thing there. Okay, an intact fuse. That is a weird place to put a fuse. Who am I to judge? See, I wouldn't. If I was an observant fellow. I'm not saying that I'm not an observant fellow, but if I was an observant fellow, I would have been looking around for all that stuff. Okay. Back to the... All right. Hopefully we don't need a third battery. Let's get this there. Film canister going. Oh, wow. It's the birth origin of Thing. What the hell does that mean? I mean, there's a hand here. There's nothing I can do with that. Unless. 
Oh, what if this is no vision? Oh. jars we can mess around with. Nothing there to pull, nothing to that. Sixty. I know, honey. How do I get under that? Oh. It's not that one. Oh. Let's see what two has. I thought that was just to pull it out. Water bug. I think this is our last bug. We've got a new handle. And there's a code. Six zero. So Strange shaped key. Well, I know where that's gonna go. Where we're gonna go. So as you can tell, we've been unlocking some stuff here. Alright. It's an arrow. A large stag beetle. Wait, is this stuff down there? Nope. Okay. So we're solving the mystery of the insect collection first. Aha! Back to the mirror game. where it's pointing to. Oh, that might be a problem. Well, regardless of problems. There we go. Lens. 
buttons so it can fit my eyepiece. But hey! Ooh. We've got a three part lens. Hey! It's AS! <laughs> Welcome. It seems to be my fate to be forever standing on the shoulders of great men. Mont Falcon's work here makes mine appear that of a child. But he never cracked the final secret into the doors as I have. He carried with him the key all along, and he never realized. The soul is the root of the null. It comes down to a simple trade. Mine for hers, and hers for yours. The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well, and don't look back. Whatever you see here, don't ever look back. Yes. Ooh, more calculations. Ooh, lots of calculations. We're supposed to. God, I got. Yeah, there's a lot of sciencey stuff going on here. Look. What are your hints? Well, yeah, we're seeing a lot of things were revealed here. Doing some real kooky stuff. What if we were to do this again? Crucial these are obviously business patterns on the rotating place. Front of the central box. There's one more. Oh, 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 oh. Three dots, that's third. Where's one? Where's one? All right, one is Triforce. One is Triforce. Three something there. Got one and three. We need to know what two is. Okay, so we have the combination at least. We know what the first and the second one are. Third one are. Which is that. Maybe there's a clue here.
Let's just take a look at the bottom here real quick. Make sure. Number two. It's always the last puzzle that gets me, folks. She's gonna tell me what I know already. before. The book on the... The book on the cabinet? Oh, God, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, that book. Is right. Okay. So let's solve the puzzle here, folks. being silly here. I didn't know this was... Okay, this is me not paying attention. There are two more, so... Three dot. There. What are you? Congratulations! You have completed the Room 2. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the many mysteries held within this most unique space. You fled the laboratory, and escaped the confounded house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is the absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somehow coordinated samples which exert some form of control over the, these curious events. Professor de Montfalcon 
19th of November, 1903. Thank you for playing! Oh, th you're welcome! You're welcome! <laughs> Thank you for playing and purchasing The Room 2. We hope you enjoyed it. I did. As a small, independent games developer, we truly believe in the power of word of mouth and goodwill from everyone who plays our games. So please let us know what you thought of The Room 2 by recommending it or writing a review on our Steam page. We sincerely value your support and feedback, and by purchasing and recommending The Room 2, you are helping independent games develop development alive. Keep independent game development alive. Fireproof games. Well, that's it, folks. We have completed The Room 2. Of course, this means, of course, this is not the end of the room. Because there's a third one and a fourth one. So next time we will be heading on to the room three, the third installment of the room game. Thank you for joining me tonight, or this morning, or whenever you're viewing this video. I hope to see you next time, and remember, Doc loves you. Good boy now. <laughs>